By this time next week, polls will have closed on Election Day. And if you haven't gotten election fever just yet, campaigns will be working overtime this week trying to get your attention. But as Bodie Brooks explains, this year it may not be a candidate who is bringing you to the polls. Bodie. Yeah, Marvin Imani, midterms generally don't get nearly as much attention as the big races like governor or president. While there will be people going to the polls because they want to vote for their favorite Senate, House, or local candidate, this year it is abortion causing Kentucky to get out the vote. The, the week before an election, your mailbox is going to be flooded with uh, campaign mailers and uh, your TV screens will uh, be inundated with uh, commercial after commercial. Out-of-state radical groups are spending big to impose abortion on demand in Kentucky. Amendment 2 goes too far. It will take away our rights. If there's any issue you've likely heard about in this election, it's abortion. Amendment 2 will ask voters if Kentucky's Constitution does not protect it as a right. The issue alone enough to fuel a lot of political noise. When life and death is at issue, you get passions, you get a lot of money spent, and, and I think you get more people to the polls. Fox 56 political analyst Jonathan Miller says he's not seen an amendment garner as much attention since a question on gay marriage in 2004. The spending, uh, the yard signs, the political activity, uh, far exceeds even that. In Kentucky, advocates against Amendment 2 have raised more than $5 million, pro-life supporters 750000 Those numbers are likely to grow over the next week. Both sides already claim the other has made inaccurate or misleading statements in hopes of getting you to vote. You need to read the amendment, uh, read the amendment for, for the details, but also understand the context that uh, the, um, the current law in Kentucky uh, is that there are no abortions uh, allowed with just some very rare exceptions if a woman's life is in danger. And so voting yes on this ballot initiative would practically uh, enshrine that uh, permanently. But voting no does not protect abortion rights. It will leave the Constitution as is as the courts continue the debate. An excused early voting is already underway. All Kentuckians can early vote starting on November 3rd. Election Day is November 8th.